I just want to do a quick video to show you this phone holder that I that I remixed from Thingiverse. Um, I printed a few of these different variations of it, and they all didn't work. Um, this one worked to the point where it uh, it was worth expanding on. So first things first, I took it from a, a 90 degree mount and made it a RAM compatible ball. And what you do is you take a 832 nut and it goes right in the end. Push it down in there deep. But I also like the fact that the two inch screw goes in and it actually adds some strength to the shaft here. So that's gonna be important when we move forward. So this is the hardware you need. It's very simple. You can get it in any hardware store. And, uh, and then you also have this little um, lock that actually attached to the back of the phone. And I just use automotive 3M adhesive, double-sided tape to stick that down. And it seems to be stuck down pretty good. Um, that printed without supports. We also printed the ball without support and this without support, which is the top part. Um, these, the other parts I used, obviously the washer as well doesn't need supports. The, uh, the other pieces I used tree supports on, uh, on them just because there's a little bit more detail. And this one oriented, it printed like that on the bed. Same with that. Um, I use a different color, but you could do it all in black. That was my first version. What I did find on the version that the person designed on Thingiverse is that it didn't have these little tabs on the, on the crown is what I call it. So what would happen is your phone wouldn't lock in place. So it would actually just sit like that. But these now, when you lock your phone in place, it actually locks right in. So you have to actually pull this up to actually unlock it. So it's gonna be really secure on the bike. Um, I was afraid before you could spin the phone like this and it would pop right off. So these tabs are something I added as well. The ball is, is what I've, I've modified. The rest I've left virtually unchanged. I think it's a great design. I use PLA plastic for everything. Now there is a caveat in the original design that, that this spring may break down because PLA doesn't work well under load, but so far so good, it seems to be fine. Assembly is easy, you start with the crown. I call it a crown, it has these little tabs I put on it so it looks kind of like a crown. And then you'll see these are slotted. So when you actually it's install this, you wanna make sure that the, the raised tabs go between the uh, the cogs on the on the little flat piece here. Um, you can see I, I had to file a little bit to get it to fit down in. So mine is specific to go one way. Um, like I said, it needed a little bit of filing on on this edge of the black piece to to make it work. Then the uh, the spring it pops in like so. Then we actually apply the washer around and then this part is actually tabbed as well which you can see the slots on the side of the crown that this actually will pop into put your nut in the end of the the uh, the ball push it down in so that your screw will contact it drop the screw 10 times this actually will go through like that I'll just screw this down and it'll pull the whole thing together and you'll, you'll see this thing start to work. It's awesome. And then we're going to tighten this together. You can see it coming through the hole in the end there. And then we've got complete spring action. I, I can't believe how good that spring works. And now you can see when you actually attach your phone to it, you push it. You push in and listen to the click. Hear that? That's awesome. And now that phone is not moving around. To release it, you have to pull back like this, and then it will gently release. I think it's a great product, a great design that I've just built on to make it a little bit more perfect. But when you hear that click, it's good to go. This I haven't used a lot, so it's still a little stiff. There we go. Here it is installed on my ATV. You can see I printed a, a two, one inch RAM compatible ball and I modified it to fit around my bars. I'm not sure if that was a stock design or if I actually had to make that work. 
I'll look that up. I can also post a link in the comments for that unit. I'm going to try and do this one-handed. I'm sorry about this. So it's completely adjustable. I love it. You can see you can put position it wherever you want. Tighten that down. Just like that. It looks good with nothing on. I love it. I'm going to put a power cord on here. The phone's waterproof, so even on the ATV, it'll be a good uh, it'll be a good unit to have. But it's nice and solid. And then I 3D printed the little holder for my 12-volt outlet, which I've got uh, a USB port, which will connect to the phone. And now we have complete mapping right at our fingertips. Very, very handy.